Hi, my name is John Papour, the Director of Instruction at the Jim McLean Golf School at Red Ledges in Heber City, Utah. And today, I want to talk about how you can get more power out of your driver. Back in 1983, Jim McLean did a lot of research and wrote a book called The X Factor, which meant the greater the differential between your hips and your shoulder rotation at the top of your swing equaled the greater potential for power in your shot. Now we're going to talk about driver specifically and how you can get more power and increase your X factor while hitting a driver. So I've got two clubs here and what I want to demonstrate first is Jim's X factor at the top of the swing. What that means is now I've got two lines. I've got my shoulder and my hip line at address and when I stand up to the ball at address we want them both par parallel left to my target line. Now when I swing to the top of my swing, what I'm going to do is my hips and shoulders are going to rotate, but my shoulders should rotate more than my hips. You can see if my hips and shoulders rotate equally as much, I don't have any X in the top of my swing. The both of these lines are very much parallel, very much in the same angle. So what I want to do is really limit the amount of hip turn while maximizing the amount of shoulder turn. So now at the top of my swing, my hips have rotated about 10 to 20 degrees, but my shoulders are almost at 90 degrees. That's a 70 degree differential, and now that's the X factor that Jim talks about. So the greater you have, the greater gap that you have between your shoulder and your hip rotation, the greater um, power you're gonna generate through your swing. Now the next part about that is, if you can create a good X factor, the next part is now, we're going to want to increase that X factor as we talk about sequencing towards the downswing. So again, if I take it to the top of my swing and rotate my hips about 20 degrees and my shoulders at about 90 to 100 degrees, I've got a 70 degree differential there. Now on the way through, what I want to do is sequence the body parts to start the downswing. I want to start with my lower body first, start with my hips firing. You've heard that from everything I, uh, that you've read in magazines or heard on TV. You want the lower body to start first. You want to get that lower body moving to start your downswing. As I do that, now you can see the X factor is actually increasing. I'm increasing the gap in my X factor as I go down to my to impact position. So then what I've done is now sequence my body appropriately. I've got the hips starting first the upper body and the shoulders starting second, the arms and the club are lagging behind, holding that angle, and again, at the very last moment, releasing through impact. That's power, and that's gonna generate a big muscle swing, starting with your lower body first. So let me show you what that means. As I set up to the ball, you're gonna see that my hips and my shoulders are gonna be at the same line, parallel left to my target line. As I take the club to the top, my shoulders are going to out swing my hips in terms of rotation. I'm going to generate a big X factor. And then on the way through, I'm going to start the lower body first, increasing that gap. So then my shoulders can catch up. The arm and the club are going to be the last thing to come through. I'm going to swing this club through with quite a bit of power. So let me demonstrate that. Good address, good X factor at the top, and get those hips to fire the first thing on the way down. If you can do that and try that on the range, you'll generate more and more club head speed, more and more power, which will equal more and more distance. 